Stop talking for me. All right, that was messing around. Nice. So, I was looking the news today. They have the pill for men now, which is weird because I've never gotten pregnant. So, must be working. Uh, I'll know whenever I have sex. <laughs> I had a friend that joined the military. He, he's not a patriot or anything. He just wants to kill people. So I thought I had a tense relation with my mom because, you know, she, she used that old saying all the time, well, man, if they jumped off the cliff, would you? I'd be like, no. She'd be like, why not? Don't you want to be popular, son? <laughs> She'd do things like that, contradict, and I'd get in trouble. Like, I'd rather have my kids drink at home. That way I know where they are. So I'm there in my underwear with a Jack and Coke. The next thing I know, I'm grounded, getting yelled at. <laughs> I'm like, listen here. First of all, these mixed messages are going to scar me for life. And second of all, this is no way I treat a six-year-old. <laughs> Bottoms up, Mom. When I got a little older, I started playing baseball, and my coach called me Babe Ruth. Not for hitting or fielding, but I, had, I was drunk and had venereal disease. What do you expect? <laughs> I actually think everything in life should be like golf, though. You get one mulligan in life. That'd be great. Here in court, you killed five people or whatever. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, that was my mulligan. Why don't you put me down for a zero? Oh, OK, yeah, he's free to go. <laughs> It'd work, it'd work. You know, you're back there for jaywalking, something like that. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, could that be my mulligan too? No, no, it can't. Execution! Get him out of here! It'd be great, I'd love it. I would love it. So, I'm not, I'm not a total dork. People call me a dork, but I don't like sit around building Lego cities or anything, because. Uh, no, I finished the city last week. It looks great. Complete Repco of Phoenix. So, uh, don't do that. I went to this little house party. Well, it was in a van. And this, this girl came up to me and she's like, you're hot. I was like, yeah, I'm sitting on the stove. What do you expect? Beat it. Beat it. But the, van, the van had one of those DVD players in it. I don't like those things. Because we were driving and when you're driving watching a movie, it makes walking out dangerous. I slid for 75 feet. I'd show you my ass to prove it. But we don't want to scare you. We don't want to scare the 15 people in the way here. I'm glad you guys showed up, because if you didn't, then there probably wouldn't be a lot of people here. So that's good. <laughs> so I'm on a new diet now. It's uh, kind of like the Atkins diet. It's the Jesus diet. I mean, that guy's ripped. Do you see him? He's just hanging there like, Ur. But no. He's <laughs> 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 got the six pack. But I, it's the Jesus diet. It's just rice cakes and wine. I've, I've lost some weight. I lost my driver's license, too. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. The DUI laws are so strict now, cops can sit in front of a church and give them out on Sunday morning. And they did. <laughs> you been drinking? Just a sip. Ooh, shit. <laughs> so, I don't know if those Jesus cakes are non-fat. I've only been eating half of Jesus now. I won't tell you which half. <laughs> oh, to that. Uh, I, don't, I don't like donations, though. This kid came up to me after church, and he's like, hey, would you like to donate to Students Against Drunk Driving? I was like, no, I need all my money for my underage DUI case. <laughs> would you like to donate to students with DUIs? <laughs> kid gave me five bucks. He was a cool kid. His name was Steve. He's tall. So. <laughs> oh. When I was little, I used to make my own trophies out of wood. I wasn't too smart about it, though, because it was ninth place for the best wooden trophy. I <laughs> wish I could have won. <laughs> Someday, damn it. I love Star 69, though. That is the coolest thing. Because you can call people and just hang up, and when they call you back, you pretend they really want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm not your usual telemarketer. 
My slogan is, hey, you called me. What do you expect? You know, other countries think that our country is stupid and fat. And that's not true. See, we're arrogant, too. We're, we're arrogant. And they leave that out all the time. I don't know why. No, what's weird is if your eyes are bloodshot, your parents are like, you have a drug problem. Or if you stay up all night, you have a drug problem. Or if you sell your baby brother to a crack dealer, you have a drug problem. <laughs> he wasn't the right size. He looked almost normal. I cannot believe none of you went, oh, to that. That is a tore up joke. You guys have a sick sense of humor. That's great. <sighs> you ever seen those uh, homeless guys on the street? And they play those buckets as drums. Why the hell is it it's got a job playing drums? You, you, ever, you think homeless people ever go camping? If they do, I bet they're really good at it. You guys seem afraid to laugh, laugh at that. Do you guys know a lot of homeless people? <laughs> like, I, I've only met one, and he, came, he was like, hey, you have any change? I was like, yeah, I've had a lot of change. When I was a baby, I was like this tall, and now I'm like this tall. He was like, well, can I have some? I was like, no, dude, beat it, nice life. <laughs> you guys know a lot of homeless people, that's sad. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. If I was a homeless person, I'd be a magician. Because you could work at a funeral, and you could tear it up. What better place to pull flowers out of your sleeve? He passed away? Here's some flowers. You could saw the guy in half, not even have to worry about it. <laughs> you messed up. Ah, he was already dead. <laughs> oh. So, uh, you guys are in therapy, huh? That's awesome. My therapist told me I needed to release my anger, and I, uh, I released it into him with an axe. <laughs> Felt much better after all that copay crap. <laughs> I didn't think that was one of your laugh. That was sweet. <laughs> I like to take a lot of naps. I need one now. Um, now I like taking them, like behind the wheel of a car when I'm driving. People get upset. What are you doing? My friend broke down on the freeway recently, and he still hasn't moved forward emotionally. I love that joke. I'm going to wait until that gets a laugh it deserves. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. I just thought of this. <laughs> hey, that should, I should end it right there. That was sweet. No, but I got one more for you. This guy, actually in the bathroom right before I came up here, was trying to teach me holds. And uh, he's like, what's this one? Half Nelson. What's this one? Full Nelson. What's this one? Father Nelson. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. You guys have been great. <laughs>